What is up y'all? It is a beautiful day here in the state of Maine. If you guys have not seen my last video, pretty much we drove 10 or 12-ish hours all the way up here to the mountainous, crispy aired state. Just look at those mountains over there. So I have been in Maine for a couple days now and I have I have not really had too much success while fishing, I'm not gonna lie. But today that is hopefully all going to change. So we're over here at this place, they call it a trading post. It's kind of like everything in one. It's a tackle shop, liquor store, grocery store. This area is very interesting. They don't have a Walmart, they don't have a Cabela's, they don't have a Dick's, no like big chain retailers. It's really just like these smaller locally run tackle shops like where you get all your tackles. So today I'm gonna be taking you guys with me into this trading post. We're gonna go to like the whole tackle shop area. We're gonna see what they have here and also if we can get some information and some knowledge out of these locals. Kind of gonna be turning this into a budget fishing challenge. I'm gonna give my Myself $20 to go in there, not including a rod, reel, line, all that, just the lures. So pretty much, I'm putting myself in the situation of a tourist, which I am, but only with $20 and with no lures. Maybe I left my tackle box at home, or maybe I just don't have any lures at all. Can we go in here to this store with $20 and then go out to the water and actually have some success? I think we're gonna be targeting smallmouth like we were the last video, but hopefully, we're gonna get into some really, really big ones. But I don't know, man. My faith lies in this trading post and in this $20 bill right here. So this is pretty interesting. We got smaller little crankbaits. We got spinner baits. Looks like a nice little bass section over here. We got some rods. We got all the terminal stuff, line, sinkers. Mm. Ooh. Those actually look pretty good right there. So the thing is, this is near a bunch of trout fisheries, so they don't have too much bass stuff. I mean, this whole wall is just loaded with trout spoons. I think I'm gonna ask one of the employees for their opinion. How's it going? What would you suggest for clear water smallies? Uh, right now, top water's been working. Kinda, top uh, water? Yep, yeah, everything's good above. Is that more like morning, evening? Yeah, middle of the day, everything's not really biting right now. Got you. So it's kind of like the smally section right here? Yep, yep. Alright. And then if you, you know, we get the plastics over here if you want to get the plastics. Alright, cool. Thank you. Yep. Hmm. I'm trying to stretch this $20 out here. I think first thing I'm gonna go with is one of these little, uh, super natural looking little frogs here. That is like 13-ish. So we, <laughs> it's almost all our $20 in. Mm. All right, so it turns out the Trading Post Tackle Shop area is kind of expensive. Like, what, what's going on here, Maine? How do y'all Mainards around here afford freaking fishing tackle, man? I guess there are Walmarts and Cabela's and Digs and everything in Maine, but maybe, I think they're in Maine, right? I guess just not this area. I don't know, man. It's a very rural area. It is beautiful, though, and I think this water that we're going to be fishing today should be very clear, very beautiful, and hopefully the fish that we are going to hopefully be catching are going to be very thick and large and beautiful. Whew, let's get out of here. Let's get to the water. Let's do this thing, Maine. I am freaking gonna catch your fish, man. This is not as light as my kayak is at home. Whew. All right, y'all, so it's actually a lot later in the day. I came down here right after I went to the store and the wind was just whipping. It's really interesting how like the wind works here in the mountains. You guys can see there's those mountains there. I don't know, during the middle of the day, the wind whips and then kind of calms down morning and evening. Right now, I'm just getting everything loaded in. It looks pretty decently-ish, calm-ish out there, the sun starting to set ish it's kind of simmering down I actually got kind of toasty out today yeah man we're gonna bring everything down here we're gonna launch the kayak because this is really like the only way I mean you can't really fish from shore at a lot of these places in Maine <sighs> this really is I mean look how clear this is it's freaking beautiful right now there she blows so as I said I've been here in Maine for a couple days now I have been kayaking I think like literally every single day like that's not even exaggerating been on Lots of watercrafts. I've been fishing pretty much multiple times every day as well. I've really been after brook trout. But since it is summertime, it's a lot harder to, you know, actually find and catch the brook trout. Oh, it is, it is a little toasty out here. All right, so I'm gonna paddle all the way to that little cove where I was at the other day. If you guys haven't seen the last video, please go check that out. I caught a freaking monster. It put up a crazy fight. We're gonna go back to that spot. I have a feeling, man, we're gonna catch something big here. It's gonna take a little bit to get out there. But I'm about to put the burners on. Oh my gosh. I mean, the freaking mountains, man. After a decent ish, dude, that water's really clear. After a decent ish paddle out here, we are venturing back into the creek channel that once brought us success. Actually, some nice lily pads right here. This is the color I decided to buy 
of the frog. Whew, let's give this thing a couple casts. It's a nice little shaded pocket back here. Pretty much what the guy was telling me. Morning and evening has been a really, really good topwater bite. So I don't really know if I explained it too well, but in the store, that is why I went with one of these super realistic looking frogs. This water is super, super crystal clear. So, you know, if there's any smallies lurking down there, I just want them to think this is an actual frog. I'm also just waiting along one of these shorelines. I have not seen a freaking moose yet. How are you going to Maine and you don't see a moose? All right, so they were not hitting top water. The wind's kind of blowing a little bit. Just put on this little yum dinger, letting it drift down to the bottom like I was doing the other day with the Sanko. One fish on each floor would be actually really good. But just a fish, let's, let's start with the fish here. Ooh, that was a smallie behind that rock right there. Oh my God, he's still going for it. Holy freaking crap, dude. Goes the Senko. He's got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a nice fish. Freaking, oh my gosh. Crap, dude, found him with the frog. Oh, that's a dude. That's a dude. That's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Is that kind of these catch with both baits? Oh my gosh, they are so strong. Come here, buddy. Oh, dude, let's freaking go, man. Yo, this is so freaking fun to do, man. These guys are so aggressive. Did you see him after I popped that frog out? All right, there we go. After I popped that frog out, he went for the frog again. Like that's not even like a giant giant. He fought, dude. That fish fought like a giant. I give these guys mad, like so much freaking credit, man. All right, get out of here, little guy. Fought like a freaking tank, dude. He exploded like a tank, too. All right, let's not scare all the fish in here. Oh my gosh, I would have loved to hook that guy on the frog. That's why it's always good to have bait like a Senko while you're frog fishing. Just something you can cast right back in there if they didn't, you know, actually get it. Now, could that fish have went for my frog again? I don't know, maybe. But that was, oh my, dude, Maine, dude, freaking Maine. Oh, that's what's going on here. This is like complete weed beds right there. I think I might have to fish this side. The wind is blowing here. And if I learned anything, what the heck was that? It sounded like a moose. If I learned anything from fishing, you have to use the wind to your advantage. Usually windblown banks produce fish. So I'm gonna keep casting this frog around here. I might've just spooked everything right in this specific area. Holy crap, man. Oh, guys, there's a loon up here. These things are so cool. He's just floating out here too? Looks like he's cleaning his butt. How crazy would it be if we could actually talk to animals? Like maybe that loon right there. Knows all the secret fishing spots. Knows where the big giant smallies are hiding. Oh! Holy. That's a fish on the frog. Okay, my, okay. That's a freaking good fish right there. First fish on the frog. Oh my gosh. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, he's in the pads. Oh my gosh. Okay, chill, 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 chill. It's not like a giant, giant. Okay, hold on, that's a big fish. Oh, dude. Come here. Oh. Get in the boat, let's go, dude. Oh my goodness. These smallies are so aggressive, man. Get that out of you. Oh my God. Dude, that is a nice fish right there. Dude, 
Freaking Smalley on the frog. I, dude, I wish Delaware had Smalleys like this. I would gladly trade all my largemouth bodies of water to get some of this. Holy crap, man. Let's let you go right here. Thank you so much for biting, buddy. First, oh, oh boy. Yep. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, first fish of the day on the frog. Shout out to that guy at the tackle shop. No joke, man. They are hitting top water. It's so funny, too, because this is like a tiny little frog. I honestly do believe that there are like eight pound Smalleys in here. If I, dude, just imagine. You guys know I'm not like the biggest kayak fisherman. I've only done it a handful of times. Definitely gonna have to start doing it more in Delaware. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I mean, just everything about, oh dude, look at that mountain. But everything about being here is out of my element. And the fact that, I mean, completely unguided, came out here and we caught fish. I did not catch the brook trout that I want to catch yet. Oh my gosh. Oh, does he have it? There he is. Oh, dude, that's a fish. Okay, not a giant. Whew. Oh, that was actually, <laughs> that was a really cool eat. Dude sucked it up with so much water, that was a subsurface floor at that point. Oh my God. So that's the most, dude. That's the noise the loon makes. It's so cool. Oh my god, that is so freaking sick. Alright y'all, one more cast. This sun is starting to set out here. It's going to be pretty dark on the way back. Sunset a while ago. I gotta get back. Dude, I got a long paddle. This might be a dark paddle as well. Maybe you'll see some moose though. I got my loon friend right here. See ya, buddy. All right, y'all. That is gonna be it here for this video today. Right now, I'm at a Panera Bread about to upload it. Dude, I have not really had internet at all as I've been here. I had to use this like town Wi Fi that took literally all freaking day one of the days I was here to upload the last video. So we're we're gonna try out Panera. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button, and I have to give a shout out here to Josh and Trevor. If you wanna win a shout out at the end of the next video, all you gotta do, man, go down there, leave a comment, and randomly select it through a generator. Yeah, man, if you guys do enjoy my videos, but you're not already, make sure to go down there, click that subscribe button, and if you never wanna miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. All right, let's go get this internet. All I gotta say, man, thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week.